Today's video is going to show you how we paint in the boneyard. What is the boneyard? Well, the boneyard is this location inside Village Chic where we take repurposed furniture and give it a one-of-a-kind finish. Today, Christy is painting with one of our favorites, which is DIY clay-based chalk paint. Chalk paint is unique in that it sticks to almost anything. You can use it on wood, you can use it on plastic, you can use it on metal, you can actually even use it on glass. She's giving the entire piece a coat of weathered wood to start. And then, as the second coat, she's coming back with a green, one of our favorites. It's called Monet's Garden. So this piece will have two complete coats of paint, but in two completely different colors. This unique finish is fun and brings out as much creativity as possible. The whole base is painted with the Monet's Garden and then the top is given a second coat of weathered wood. The two colors make a great combination. She'll get the weathered wood down into the handles too before they're painted with the Monet's Garden. After both coats are dry, on day two, 24 hours later, you can come back and do the wet distressing. What is wet distressing? This is the time that she's using a baby wipe to reactivate the paint and wipe away some of the top layer revealing the weathered wood. She also rubs in certain areas far enough to go back to the original wood finish. This multi-dimensional color starts forming all the way through the wet distressing, bringing out a lot of the design of the piece. She'll go over the whole thing doing her wet distressing. After that, she will grab one of our sanding sponges and start applying the sandpaper over the areas that she wants to reveal more and smooth out the finish. As you can see, all these multiple colors are getting revealed just by the distressing and revealing the color underneath. Chalk paint is very good for bringing out your creativity Another way to bring out creativity and to seal the paint is the final coat, which is the wax. The wax goes in and closes the pores and gives a finish that is more durable to chalk paint. Christy is actually using two colors of wax. She'll apply the dark wax to the top and a clear wax to the sides and the front and this will bring out so much more of all that dimension that she worked diligently doing the distressing. See the colors? See the dimension? This is the fun of chalk paint. The entire piece will cure now for 24 hours and then she will come back and buff the piece. The buffing brings out shine and gives a wonderful finish. DIY chalk paints available in our store, Village Chic.